Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the study of antiquity and the Middle Ages. As always, I am your host, Nick Barksdale, and today I'm bringing you another episode of History Today, a spinoff series I'm doing in which I bring you news relating to history and archaeology that's occurring in our own time. The Guardian recently just published an article on the latest findings of archaeologists in Mexico City, which is titled... Tower of Skulls Reveal Grisly Scale to Archaeologists in Mexico City. These new findings have resulted in a total so far of 119 skulls relating to men, women, and children. These findings came as archaeologists unearthed new sections of this Aztec tower of human skulls dating back to the 1400s beneath the center of Mexico City. The team uncovered the facade and eastern side of the tower, which led them to find 119 human skulls of men, women, and children, adding to the hundreds of skulls that have already been found. These findings was announced on Friday by the Institute of Anthropology and History. These skulls that make up a part of this tower is believed to be a part of Hue Zampantili, a huge array of skulls that struck fear into the very hearts of the new conquerors the Spanish conquistadors. When they captured the city under the command of Hernan Cortez in 1521, this structure is near the huge metropolitan cathedral built over the Templo Mayor, one of the main temples of the Aztec capital Tenochtitlan in what is now modern-day Mexico City. The Mexican Minister of Culture, Alejandro Frosto, said the Temple Mayor continues to surprise us, and this is without a doubt one of the most impressive archaeological finds in the recent years of our country. Archaeologists have identified three construction phases of the tower that date back to 1486 and 1502. These findings, when they were originally discovered some years ago, originally surprised and shocked archaeologists and anthropologists who had expected to find the skulls of young warriors, but who in their discovery unearthed the crania of women and children raising a variety of questions about human sacrifice and ritualistic murder in the Aztec Empire. Archaeologist Raul Barrera stated, Although we can't say how many of these individuals were warriors, perhaps some were captives destined for sacrificial ceremonies. He added that in the end we do know that they were all made, according to the rituals and traditions of the time, sacred, turned into gifts for their gods, or even personifications of deities themselves. This tower was originally discovered in 2015, but these results are incredibly recent, and it's absolutely fascinating because this is a very tumultuous period in the history of the Americas, with invaders coming in, a variety of changes going on, relating to climate and movements of peoples throughout the Americas could honestly make the indigenous populations of these areas think that maybe an apocalypse is truly coming. And in many ways, they were right. And so I like to wonder as to whether or not this tower is a representation of society during this tumultuous period of change and conquest, trying to cope with a changing world that they can't control. And honestly, it's absolutely fascinating and terrifying at the same time, wondering what went through the minds of the people who were sacrificed and through the minds of the people doing the sacrificing. And even more so, what were the original thoughts of these conquistadors from Europe as they saw something that they had never seen before? I can only imagine how intense and terrifying this site would be in the day and era of which it was built. And honestly, it's terrifying even today. But this is an amazing discovery 
that will help shed further light into a very obscure people and history. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much. I hope you've enjoyed this little segment of history today. Comment your thoughts below, and it will encourage us to make even more videos where we bring you history today. Thank you all so much, and have a wonderful night.